Hey, just wanted to do a quick video before Toonami starts. Um, this video is about Evangelion. Uh, they recently announced when Evangelion is going to come to Netflix, which is going to be, uh, I think, June 21st, which is really funny because they said it was going to come out in spring, and that's like the first day of summer or something like that. So that's some um, kind of trolly. But um, what I really want to talk about is the fact that they're doing a new dub um, for Evangelion, which is a pretty big deal. I mean, it's a big deal just because it's coming to Netflix, but if there's a new dub, it makes it an even bigger deal. And, um, a lot of people are, are pretty mad about this new dub. Um, I probably would have made a video about this back when it was kind of first revealed, which it was never, it isn't, I don't think it's been formally revealed. It's only been talked about through the old Evangelion voice actors who have been pretty vocal about it. But um, only with this recent date announcement have I sort of checked the Evangelion subreddit and found that there's a lot of people who are pretty mad. Um, and weirdly, I, I'm kind of surprised about that. Like, I didn't really expect it. Um, and even though, you know, people historically have been mad about stuff like this, I just thought with Evangelion, it's a series where it's so much easier to find sub than dubbed. And, you know, it's it's... You can't find it anywhere legitimately, so it's going to, like, there's going to be nowhere that it has the legal sub or dub. So it seems like most people who find it would probably watch the subtitle versions, and that's what I did, even though I'm fine with dubs. Um, I did get a chance to see some of the dub later, and that's going to figure into this video, um, what I say. Um, so that surprised me that people are so mad about it, because there's probably been a large amount of Evangelion fans that have joined in in the period of time where Evangelion has not been readily available. I would expect that they would watch the subversion and also, you know, anime fans generally. Uh, I'd say probably... I kind of wonder if it's older anime fans or, or younger anime fans that have more of a propensity towards subs or dubs. But that's a different... That's like almost a different video. <laughs> but especially older fans, I would think that they wouldn't care as much about the dub. But um, on the subreddit, they were talking about it like there was like a big Twitter push. There was a they were linking to you know posts from the voice actors talking about oh thank you all for posting the hashtags, and I guess what I really want to say and I'll, I'll title the video this. What I should have started with is that I think it's kind of cool to, to get Evangelion a new dub. Um, and I don't really think you know to see Tiffany Grant posting on Facebook about how I was dreading this day. The day that I would no longer be Asuka. Like, ooh, that's a little melodramatic. I mean, <laughs> like, I know this is a big part of your life. It's been something that, that you are known for. But you, as a voice actor, you can't really try to claim ownership of a, of a character like that. I mean, you know, for first of all, we don't even know that she's done being Asuka. Um, for all we know, Funimation could still dub the fourth Evangelion movie, the new one. Um, could be Netflix. I'm not really sure what the situation is there. But if Funimation dubs it, uh, they may well ask her to, to voice Asuka again. I mean, well, they obviously would because that's the voice that they've already done. Even if Netflix dubs it, they may ask the original cast to do it. Um, just because that would make sense with the other movies, but then they might read up those two. Um, it's just, you know, I think what Netflix is possibly at fault for doing here is the fact that they only even auditioned the old voice actors, um, after there was a little bit of outcry from the voice actors and from fans about replacing them. Um, and even according to the voice actors themselves, even when they auditioned, they sort of got the feeling that it was all kind of a sham and that they weren't really being considered. It was more just kind of a nice thing that Netflix was doing <laughs> to quote unquote consider them. Um, but disregarding all that, you know, the, the sort of harshness that comes along with the situation and the idea of these voice actors who have been these characters for a long time is no longer being these, these characters it's not really inherently a bad thing to um, to create a new dub for Evangelion. And for one, um, I've seen, as I said, some of the old dub for Evangelion. It's not that good. In the movies, it's good. Near the end of the series, and probably for End of Evangelion, where, by the way, the uh, people who produced the English version made these pretty weird changes to a couple of parts of the movie. Um... Uh, and in, in those instances, yeah, the voices are good, but early on, the voices are rough. They don't really seem to fit very well. I think, um, I remember some of the delivery just being weird. Um, so that's a big reason that, you know, especially if you're exposing Evangelion to 
untold numbers of new fans, which is what Netflix is doing. I mean, this might as well be a new anime with the way Netflix is pushing it. I guarantee you it will get, it will be more popular. I can say this with pretty much certainty. It will be more popular on Netflix than some of their original anime. Like I can, I can say that with relative certainty. Um, and that might even be disregarding people rewatching it. I'm just talking about people watching it for the first time. Um, so you're going to want to put your best foot forward with the dub. It's nice to have a good dub. You know, it's it's just makes sense to have a, um, um, a good dub. And to do a good dub, it kind of needs to be a new dub. Because I feel like for a lot of the show, the old dub isn't that good. And I'm not anti-dub at all. I'm very pro-dub. So I, when I say a dub isn't that good, I, I really mean it. Um, you know, I think a lot of people are perhaps uh, uh, really, you know, against this just because of the feelings of the voice actors. And like I said, like, yes, it is sad, but that's just not, you kind of sort of have to take emotion out of it a little bit. You know, I, ha I have a feeling a lot of people are probably getting flashbacks to when um, Hideo Kojima uh, uh, had Kiefer Sutherland voice Solid Snake and Metagross Solid 5 rather than David Hayter, um, which I think is not the same situation. I think that Kojima himself was a person who had a good relationship with Hayter. Now, I could be wrong about this. I don't know too much about Metal Gear, but from what I saw... I think they knew each other. They had a good relationship, and Kojima didn't really tell David Hayter or even give him a chance to um, to maybe try to do something different with his voice or something before he just said, oh, I want to be Hollywood and pick Kiefer Sutherland. You know, um, I think that's the way the situation is different, is that um, Hideo Kojima was, was involved in everything Metal Gear, including the dub, and then also in Metal Gear Solid Five, he used Robin Atkin Downs again as the secondary main character of that game. Um, he brought him back, but then he didn't bring David Hayter back. It was weird. Um, in this situation, Hideaki Anno probably probably knows the names of the English voice actors. He was never involved in this sort of thing. You know, it was always someone else's directorial decision, someone else's creative decision. So I feel like it's not really the same situation. It's much more of a business thing and less of a creative thing, which is why I'm looking at it in a more logical way. Um, I think it's really all I have to say. I just don't really think it's a big deal. I feel bad for Spike Spencer, and I feel bad for Tiffany Grant. I would feel more bad for them if I didn't think there was a possibility they would get to voice their characters in the fourth movie again, which I think they might. Um, but even so, people aren't going to forget their performances, um, at least not as long as the rebuilds aren't dubbed. And then even then, Evangelion has a lot of old fans, you know, a lot of older fans, like people in the 40s and 50s now. And they're not gonna they're not gonna appreciate the new dub. They're not gonna adopt the new dub. So just don't think it's that big of a deal. That's the video. I think Tsunami's about to start, so I don't know. I hope Super's good tonight.